Impeachment trial after leaving office. The former president facing one count of incitement of insurrection after the siege of the Capitol on January 6. The indictment saying he was singularly responsible for it. The trial taking place there at the Capitol, the Senate chamber, a crime scene just a month ago, now serving as a courtroom today. Those senators who witnessed the deadly rioting firsthand now serving as jurors. 6,500 National Guard troops still on duty there. The Democrat House managers who are prosecuting the case beginning their case with a graphic 13-minute video from January 6, with the former president's own words and what his supporters were saying when they stormed the Capitol. Some saying we are listening to Trump. House manager Jamie Raskin trying to link the president's words in the weeks and hours before the riots and the deadly chaos, saying if that's not impeachable, there's no such thing. Lawmakers and their staff members huddling from the rioters' gas masks at the ready. The former president's lawyers denouncing the rioters, but insisting tonight the former president is not to blame and that the trial is unconstitutional. But late today, six Republicans joining the Democrats voting the trial is constitutional and will move forward. We have it all covered tonight on what was a tense and emotional day inside that chamber. ABC's Rachel Scott leading us off tonight from the Hill. Tonight, history made in Washington. The first time a president faces a second impeachment trial. And the first time a president is tried after leaving office. Everybody in it, this way, this way. And today, Democrats wasted no time making their case against Donald Trump. Forcing 